Welcome everybody to Age of Empires 4. It is finally here, guys. Got ourselves the first brand new Age game in, I don't know, what, 14, 15 years, something like that. So I am super excited. We'll be playing the campaigns, of course. Uh, I'm sure there are going to be a lot of new people to the channel coming in with this video who are all interested in AoE 4. So just to briefly introduce myself, I am Ornlu, of course, and I do almost entirely Age of Empires 2 content on my Twitch channel, which is always in the description. I do casting of tournaments. I've been doing that for years. And on my YouTube channel, I do a lot of other content, a lot of campaign stuff, which is why we are starting here with the campaign video. So definitely subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more stuff like that. I will be doing more AoE 4 content, multiplayer related, as well as these campaigns. How much AoE 4 I plan on doing, I'm not too sure yet, but definitely doing all the campaigns, doing some multiplayer stuff. So definitely strap in. It's going to be a very, very busy November and December, probably. So, with all of that out of the way, let's get into the Normans 1066 Hastings. Of course, the AoE 2 uh, historical battle back from AOC. So, um, I, yeah, like I said, I don't know anything about these campaigns. 1066, William of Normandy set out to wrest the Kingdom of England from his Anglo-Saxon rival. Only one man could be king. I don't see a difficulty thing anywhere. So let's just start mission. Ah, got it, guys. Uh, always hard difficulty every single time. It's a book. leave a deep mark on history, but none on the land. This is the site of the Battle of Hastings. After almost a thousand years, no traces of the bloody conflict can be seen. But here, the fate of England turned. It's where a king was killed, and his victor claimed the throne. October 14th, 1066. We know what happened here on this day, thanks to this. The Bayer Tapestry. A carefully preserved illustrated record of events. It shows the main players. Harold, the newly crowned Anglo-Saxon King of England. And his challenger, William. Duke of Normandy. William claimed the previous king had promised him the crown. So, he assembled an army and prepared to sail to England to fight King Harold for the throne. But a storm thwarted his plans. Meanwhile, Harold discovered that a Viking invasion had landed in the north another threat to his crown so he raced to fight them in france william waited for the right conditions to sail across the channel to england the weather cleared he seized his chance Two hundred and fifty miles north, Harold had defeated the Vikings. Now, hearing of William's arrival, his army sped south. At nine o'clock in the morning, on this hill, William's Norman army were ready to do battle with Harold's Anglo-Saxon men. The stage was set, and up for grabs, England itself. Dang. That is quite the intro. Hope the audio was okay. I, uh, I have bumped it up a little bit after the start. Okay, so... Yeah. Uh, for those who are wondering how much AoE4 experience I have, 
Um, I was part of the Cardinal Council, which was a bunch of age community members who uh, were playtesting the game um, way, way back. So I was joined uh, towards the end of 2018, so I've been playing the game on and off since then. I am by no means a super turbo mega pro, but I definitely do have some experience. Um, it says we're the Normans, so I assume we're going to be the French. Because there isn't a Norman sieve. October 14th, 1066. William of Normandy stood ready for battle. Well, that was a really cool intro. The high ground belonged to King Harold of England and his Anglo-Saxon army. It's over, Anakin. Here, on this hilltop, the fate of England would be decided. This is all very historically accurate. Oh, okay. Attack Harold the Saxon's army. Here's Duke William. Duke Will I Am. Um, okay, we just control these guys, it seems. Attack! Oh, wow. William's Norman army made the first charge, launching a direct assault on the shield. This is, like, literally playing out like a documentary. Have unique abilities. Okay, um, attack speed. Okay, do that. Though William's army fought fiercely against the shield wall, it would not yield. Yep. As one man fell, another took his place. Overlapping shields in tight formation made for a near impenetrable barrier. Realizing his army could not break the shield wall, William called for a retreat. Run away! William's feigned retreat was working. The Anglo Saxon army broke their shield wall formation, leaving gaps for William to make a move. Okay. Oh, there aren't any high ground bonuses in this game, ironically. With Harold's men no longer in shield wall formation, William could pick them off as they charge. Let's try and surround these guys. This map is tiny, though. I wonder if this is more of just an, like a cinematic first level more than like an actual game. Also, why are you lazy butt archers not doing anything? Oh. Uh, oh wait, we don't really have much cavalry. Uh. Go get him! It's a... Uh, okay, we can boost our... attack speed here. I wish I could get rid of these things, but uh... Nope, can't do that. Go get him! Uh, I hope this is enough. Wait, why can I click on these guys? It's weird. Oops. Um. Well, to be fair. In the, the Battle of Hastings, it was thought that William had died. Anglo-Saxon archers joined the fray, and the Normans' deadly cavalry ready to charge. But first, William's forces had to eliminate the enemy spearmen, whose sturdy pole arms could easily bring down a horse. Okay. Bring up these guys. So yeah, for those who are... Uh, New to my uh, my channel or just unfamiliar, uh, I study history, international affairs. Uh, I focus on my focus is on Asia, but you know you kind of study a lot of different places. So I am very interested in the historical aspect of AOE. It's kind of one of the things that got me into history when I was four back in AOE two. Get him! But yeah, in the Battle of Hastings. Uh, it was thought that William the Conqueror had died, and then that's, I believe, why there was a retreat. I don't think we know for sure. 
kind of getting clapped right here, though. Ah, here we are. Charge! Oh yeah, that should be easy pickings. Yeah, in this game, the horsemen... I, I'm going to compare everything to AoE 2 because that's what I, you know, am used to. Uh, they're kind of like Light Cav, except they don't have any Pierce Armor, which actually makes them kind of more vulnerable than you would think against Archers. Get him! Alright, Harold. Okay, we got reinforcements. I, I, I have the feeling that it's impossible to lose this. You'll just, like, keep getting reinforcements. Oop. The last of Harold's men encircled their king, prepared to lay down their lives to save his. But this is, like, totally a historical documentary, which is kind of weird. Because in AoE 2, you have... They are based on historical figures and historical events, but it's very much historical fiction, right? They, they create a story. In AoE 3, and obviously in AoE, AOM, they're completely fictional. Like, they're very loosely based off of historical events, but they're more or less fantasy. But this seems like they're really trying to create some, like, well, recreate the Battle of Hastings. Is that it? Go get him! Leaderless and defeated, the last of the Anglo-Saxon army fled for their lives. The Norman Yay! Victory over the English king, but William's quest to rule England was just beginning. Victoire! Well, that was easy. The Anglo-Saxon king is dead. William's fight to rule England was far from over. Well, I guess that this is going to be it for the first scenario. Um, pretty short, but definitely. Uh, every single day, I'm going to be uploading a new uh scenario from these campaigns so definitely yeah stay tuned for that hope you all enjoyed and i will see you guys next time